In this video, we're going to learn how to find dependency coordinates. We'll cover option one of visiting a project page, and we'll also cover option two of visiting the Maven Central Repository and searching for items. So our task here is to find the Maven coordinates for Hibernate. In particular, we'll look for Hibernate Core. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open up a web browser. So with option one, we're going to visit the project page. So I'll actually go and visit hibernate.org. And once I'm at Hibernate's website, then I'll select the option here for Hibernate ORM. And then what I want to do is uh, make use of the downloads link that's over here on the left hand side. Okay, great. So on this downloads page, you're going to see a lot of buttons here to actually download Hibernate. Uh, we're not going to use these buttons because that'll actually download all of the Hibernate jar files directly. Instead, we want to make use of Maven. So here's a Maven section here on this downloads page, and they basically tell us how to declare the dependencies to use in our Maven POM file. So this is some really good stuff. So kind of zooming in here for a second, this is the actual dependency that we want to add to our Maven POM file. So it has the group ID, artifact ID, and version. This is what we'll copy and paste into our POM.xml file. Alrighty, that's okay. It works fine for a small number of projects, but if you have many projects, it's a lot of work because you have to go and visit all of those project websites. Instead, we'll take a look at option two of visiting the Maven Central website where we can actually search for um, the given projects. So here's the Maven Central repository right now. And what I'll do is I'll kind of zoom in here for a second and then I'll actually search for Hibernate Core. And I'll hit on the search button. Okay, great. So now we have some search results here. So I'll actually use the first entry here from the search results, um, org.hibernate, Hibernate Core, uh, with the latest version of 5.2.11. And actually, I'll take a look at all of the versions here. Um, so I'll click on the option here for all. So now this will give me a list of all versions. Uh, this page is very useful uh, if you need to uh, make use of an older version of Hibernate. It's also very useful too. It'll tell you when a given version has been most recently updated. So let's go ahead and choose 5.2.11.final. Okay, great. So we're at the page here. It gives us the project information in the top left, uh, the group ID, artifact ID, and the version. And then they actually give us the dependency information. So in this case, they'll give information of how to use this with Apache Maven. All right, so kind of zooming in here and just kind of focus. So this is ex exactly what we need. So the group ID, artifact ID, and the version. So again, this is what you'll copy and place into your palm.xml file. This is basically the same information we found at the Hibernate website, but here we're just searching the main Maven repository and doing everything in one location. So this is good for like a one-stop shop for finding all the various project dependencies. Okay, so that covers searching the Maven Central Repository. I'll also show you another option. Uh, you'll encounter this in your Maven travels on the web, and it's mavenrepository.com. So this is really just a third-party site. Um, they actually search the Central Maven Repository, but then they also search other repositories. So I want to show you this because other developers may ask you about this site, or you may find it just doing Google searches online. So right now I'm at mavenrepository.com. So again, it's a third-party website. It'll still search the main Maven Central repository plus some others. So you may wonder, well, what are the other repos that it searches? Well, over on the right-hand side, they'll give you a list. So here it says it searches the central Maven repo, and then also they give you a list of other repos that they'll search or index. Alrighty, so here let's go ahead and search for Hibernate. So in the search box, I'll type in hibernate-core. And I'll hit the search button and now I'll get some results. Um, I'll choose this first option here for core Hibernate ARM functionality. And now they'll give me details on this project and also a list of all the different versions of the project and kind of when they were last updated uh, and so on. So here I'll go ahead and choose the option here for the 5.2.11 final. 
And then at the bottom, they'll actually give me the details here as far as the Maven coordinates. So again, this is basically what you'll copy paste and put into your Maven palm file. All right, so you may wonder which one should I use, the Maven Central repo or should I use mavenrepository.com? So I always recommend starting with the Maven Central repo. Um, if you can't find the projects there, then go and look for them on mavenrepository.com. The reason you may find additional items on mavenrepository.com because they actually search or index more repos than just the main Maven repo. Okay, great. So this is some good stuff. So we went through the whole process here of how to find project dependencies. Uh, we covered options one and option two. So you're in good shape now. I'll see you in the next video.